Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a line of prefab homes that simply has the look figured out. When it comes to offsite construction, there are so many more companies building than most people think. They're everywhere. With so much going on in the industry all around the world, I've got more deep dives queued up than Ocean Ramsey. Something that always seems to get the good people of YouTube going is a home with a great design and a bit of flair, which is why I'm excited about what we've got going on here today. If you've been following the channel, you already know one of my favorite looks right now is the contemporary exterior, and these folks have it figured out. Just you wait. The company I'm talking about is called Elevate Homes with their line of architecturally designed prefab homes. Elevate Homes is a prefab company located in New Zealand with some of the coolest looking homes currently available. They've got a line of homes ranging in size from about 750 square feet to over 1600 square feet with exteriors that'll be sure to spin a few heads. Double takes at the very least. I can't rightly sit here in my pop is on and say they're the only company building this look, but you know what? they might have perfected it. It shouldn't be a surprise these things have the look dialed. The company started out as a side project of the head designer who had been working at an award-winning architectural firm since the early 2000s. Apparently he had a knack for designing good looking, cleverly put together buildings and had fallen in love with the efficiencies, speed and quality control found in offsite construction. The tale goes that at the time the market had limited options for design-led high-end prefab homes, so they built one behind the office he was working at and it sold faster than you can say big important prefab program. I think the saying goes, if you strike oil, keep drilling. And the result for them is a line of swanky units that we now get to check out. So win, win, win. I spent an afternoon looking around at not only what they have available, but what they offer that I think people will care about. And there are a few different things that set them apart. The one I'm probably most excited about is something people comment on every single video. Storage. Storage is always a scorching hot topic in the comments and rightly so because people need somewhere to put their stuff. Usually under benefits companies talk about the efficiency and build time of the home and they've done that too but this might be the first time I've seen the amount of storage included listed as one of the benefits. Honestly, people probably care more about how much can be stored in a home than how fast it's built. They might be onto something here. It says floor to ceiling, extra wide bedroom wardrobes, deep and ample cupboards in the kitchens, and smart hidden away storage in bespoke cabinetry units are common and handy features of these homes. Make sure to keep an eye out for cabinets and storage when I get into these homes. I feel like people are gonna be frothing over how much can be tucked away in these things. The other feature listed that I thought people might be interested in is the custom kitchens. I have a feeling there are a lot of cooks and possibly a few bakers in the audience, so let's see what they got going on here. It says highly specified kitchens are the heart of an Elevate home. Stone worktops, sleek soft closed drawers and doors, quality appliances and tapware are just some of the features that blend form and function in a beautifully custom made kitchen. A nice kitchen is a flex that I think will appeal to a lot of people so keep an eye out and let me know if you're right in home about these kitchens or not. So if you happen to live in New Zealand and I know a lot of you do because it's in the top 10 for viewer locations and you want to get your hands on one of these homes, they've broken the process down into 11 steps. Instead of listing them all out, I'm going to put them up on the screen for you to read at your leisure and dig into step three because it's an important one. It doesn't matter if you're buying from Elevate, Celebrate or Integrate, make sure there is enough room to get the home from the street to where it needs to be. I've been on enough deliveries of these things to know that it might look like a lot of room and until the house arrives. You're probably gonna need more space than you think. It looks like a lot of space until you put a home in it. Write that down. Let's check them out. They currently have a line of nine homes and to keep this program running in an orderly fashion, I'm gonna start with the smallest. The smallest option currently being offered by Elevate is known simply as the Elevate 70. One of the first decisions to be made when selecting a home from this company is the style of roof. The roof line changes the entire look of the home, so a bonus to have a few options to choose from. The standard option is just called the Box 70. It looks to be a flat roof, probably has a slight slope. It's hard to tell from the 3D model. Next, they've got the Barn 70, a peak roof option that increases the price by 2,000, and then what I think is the coolest option of all is known as the Tilt 70. This is one that slopes from front to back and side to side. Wouldn't you know it, it's also the most expensive roof upgrade, a $6,000 upgrade from the Box 70. Pretty tempting. On top of the roof choice, buyers get to decide if they want a covered porch or not. 
I like a covered porch, so that's a hard yes from me. Elevate definitely has a signature look going on throughout their entire line, and it's noted that they just updated their exterior cladding, but nobody panic, the signature contemporary look remains intact. The new exterior features linear oblique shiplap weatherboard laid vertically with stained cedar rusticated weatherboard laid horizontally. It's a good look. With a footprint of 70 square meters or just over 750 square feet, the 70 is a one bedroom, one bathroom home. The way they have it set up, the entrance is on the side into the dining area. To the left, they've got a corner kitchen. Straight on, the bedroom and bathroom. And to the right is where you'll find the living room and lounge. The living room can be set up as a second bedroom with an optional Murphy bed for guests, which I think would be another worthwhile upgrade. People always ask, so I should note, Yes, there is laundry in this home. It's tucked right there in the bathroom. In the middle of the pack for size, they've got a little something something called the 130, their most popular plan. The Elevate 130 is, as the name suggests, 130 square meters or 1400 square feet. Another great exterior on this one. Not shocking, it's been a favorite with their customers. They've got the vertical wood on the ends with the horizontal in the middle. Looks awesome. In the living room of the 130, you can see some of the previously mentioned storage solutions. For example, they've got storage all the way around the TV. More than enough space to put your remotes, a blanket or two, a couple spare pillows, and whatever else people are looking to store. I don't know, books? The 130 has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, one living room, and of course a kitchen. I really like the way this plan is set up. They have the main bedroom at one end, living room kitchen in the middle, then bathroom and scullery before the second and third bedroom. Full disclosure, I had no idea what a scullery was and I can't even confirm if I'm saying it right, but according to MarthaStewart.com, a scullery historically served as a utility space for washing and cleaning clothes. It's pretty uptown. The layout's great. Split bedrooms, open living space, windows galore. It's a winner. The largest listed home currently available from Elevate is the Elevate 150. 150 square meters or just over 1600 square feet. This model is similar to the 130 and is described as an airy, well-appointed design that has all the features you've come to expect of a smart, savvy, Elevate home. The biggest difference between the 130 and the 150 is the addition of a second living room off the second and third bedrooms. We used to call this a rumpus room. Is that still a thing? I feel like this would be a huge addition for people with kids because it's almost as if the kids have their own section of the home. They've got bedrooms, a bathroom, and a living room all tucked into the one side. If it were me, I'd designate this the movie watching section of the home and would likely fall asleep there often. I understand that the 130 is their most popular option, but between the two for a family, the 150 makes a lot of sense. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna get into their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. Again, they're located in New Zealand, so I'll put the USD conversion somewhere on the screen so we can all get a sense of what's available around the world and for how much. The Box 70 has a base price of 335,000, the 130 has a base price of 530,000, and the 150 has a base price of 576,000. I'm interested to hear people's feedback on these homes. I think they've got some great designs here. Elevate Homes is a prefab builder located in New Zealand with homes that are available now as long as you're in New Zealand. They've got the contemporary look dialed in just right. And if I'm ever in New Zealand, you best believe I'll be stopping in to say hello. I think the homes from Elevate are gonna be a hit. So I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.